Once again, we're here at Performance Medicine in Kingsport, and Dr. Tom Rogers, you help people basically from head to toe. I mean, you, you have certain ways of finding out exactly what's wrong with them, but sometimes you need new tests and new technologies to help you find out exactly what's going on and help diagnose those issues that people are having, don't you? Exactly. You know, I've been a family doctor for 30 years, and the last eight years of my practice have been really focused on finding root causes. Mm -hmm. It's, I call it integrated medicine because it's not reactionary. Typically, we, we have a person that comes in and we see a number like their cholesterol, their blood sugar, and we immediately want to put them on a medication mm -hmm. instead of spending time with them and trying to find out, you know, why they're having that problem. And a lot, as I've said before, a lot of times it boils down to one of two things, food and stress. Right. And so you've got this new test. Explain to us this new test that you have for, for checking out what's going on in your digestive tract and everything like that. I found out a great new laboratory company called Great Plains Labs. Mm -hmm. It's a family-owned business out of Kansas. And Dr. Shaw created this company about 20 years ago. And, you know, in looking at the various types of testing we can do, I found one called an organic acids test, which okay. is a urine test. And what, the way I explain this is that what's happening inside our bodies, we try to get rid of right. through mostly urine or stool or air that we breathe. But this test actually analyzes your urine, has 74 different markers. And why I like it is because it can show me the balance of gut bacteria. In other mm -hmm. words, how much good bacteria is in your gut, how much bad bacteria is in your gut. If you have yeast overgrowth, and it's relatively inexpensive. Insurance even covers a lot of it. But in, in, instead of trying to look with scopes and check stool samples out and send them to the, to the lab, it's a urine test. And it really tells me a lot about how your gut is functioning. And if your gut's not functioning, you're not going to be well. It all starts with your gut. And you said there were 70 different uh, panels that this checks for, 70 different things that this one test checks for. Exactly, like H. pylori, uh, the yeast, the bacteria, something called urinary oxalates, which you think about kidney stones, but it also can lead to other problems like fibromyalgia, mm. um, ADD even, even, and autism. A lot, really, the reason this guy founded this company is because one of his children had autism. He found out that uh, a lot of people had this particular marker in there for autism and uh, was able to overcome it with nutritional supplements and, and uh, some other things that were very useful to this kid and apparently he doesn't have autism anymore. I I'm not saying there's a cure for that, right. but I'm really convinced that there's something in our environment that is causing a lot of, a lot of these problems. And you, who do you recommend this test for when, they, when a patient comes in? Is this something you're going to recommend for a lot more patients now? Or just, what are some of the, the pre-existing conditions that you well, would do this for? Anybody that really hasn't been able to find out what's wrong with them, mm -hmm. if they're tired, especially right. if their gut's not working right. right. I mean, example, I had a guy that came in last week, and uh, he's a guy I've been seeing for a while. He had another recurrent sinus infection. He's, he's always miserable with sinus infections. And, you know, we can treat it, but he right. keeps coming back. So last week I just happened to ask him, you know, what, what do you think kicked off this episode? You get about one a month and it lasts for two weeks, so most of the time you have a sinus infection right. or at least an inflamed sinus. He goes, well, you know, I, didn't, I haven't done anything different. It seems like, I said, think back. And he says, well, probably about 30 minutes before I started coming down with symptoms again, I'd just been to the local restaurant and had a coffee and a bagel. Mm -hmm. And so I asked him, do you think that bagel had anything to do with mm -hmm. your, your being inflamed right. in your sinuses? And he said, I never thought about it. So he's gotten the test done. We're going to find out. But I guarantee it was the bagel. All the gluten. All the glutens. Yeah. And plus bagels that predispose you to have yeast. I mean, it's right. probably the single worst thing you could eat would be a bagel. I hate to say that, but when we used 20 years ago, we thought, that's a healthy thing, but actually it's probably one of the worst things you could ever eat for breakfast. All right. Uh, Dr. Tom Rogers, we appreciate it, and we know it's encouraging to know that he has these new tests, this new technology to help out all of his patients that come in here. And if you want to find out more about this or anything else that's going on here, check out performancemedicine.net.